The next method we'll be working on is called select one. So public function select one. First uh, parameter will be table name by default null. Then we have value by default null. Then we have field by default we will have the id this specific method will help us basically uh, whenever we need to fetch one record by let's say id which is going to be a default field or any other field uh, from within the database rather than writing the same sql statement over and over again every time we're trying to retrieve a record from a specific table we're just going to have this method ready and basically uh, going to specify the table and a value, basically the, the value associated with the ID, or if we want to s uh, find the record by any other field, then we simply uh, provide a third parameter. So first of all, we check if is an empty table and helper, exclamation mark before helper is empty. Basically, we're checking if it's not empty and we're checking the value and then another condition and is an empty field. Obviously, that's quite a bit of checking. So we can put this uh, whole if statement inside of the separate method. So if I scroll up a little bit and before the select one method, we're going to create another private function is select one valid. And we're going to pass table, no value, no end field. Uh, we're going to set it as null here as well. And then simply return and this condition. Now if we scroll down, and now we can obviously use this new method. So if this is select one valid and we pass table, value, field. And now we're going to, the, to, uh, to write the SQL statement, which will be select all from this table, oh, sorry, not this table, it's obviously the parameters of table. And then where, and we go for field equals, and then question mark. Uh, return this fetch one, we pass in a SQL, and then the parameter which, has, which is just the value. And then otherwise we simply return uh, null. We don't need to return this null, but because this function returns the value, then just to make sure that obviously something is returned, we're just going to return this null at the end. Okay, so that's our select one method uh, completed.